what are some signs of being trauma bonded? Holding on to the fantasy that they're not what they're actually presenting themselves as. Holding on to the fantasy that the good is possible. It's possible for a very limited amount of time, sure. But holding on to the fantasy that the good could be the reality, that the good parts could be what's real and could be what is always there. Another thing you might experience is justifying the behavior of the other person. You might say, yeah, but I did this, but I did that. If you, okay, here's the thing also, many of us have gone through this and we have tried everything. We have been the one to go to therapy. We have looked into every possibility that it could possibly be going on and then done our part. You might look up um, an avoidant person, how to have a relationship with an avoidant person. And you're doing everything you can on your part and it's still not working. It's still nothing's changing. All they're doing is taking more and more advantage of you because they're actually narcissistic. And then, and then through all of that, trying to fix things, you're justifying the behavior. There's a sign that you are trauma bonded to the person, because if you weren't, you'd see this behavior clear as day and step away, right? If, if, it, if you weren't trauma bonded. Another sign of trauma bonding is the constant thoughts of another person. You should be able to go through your day and yes, your partner or your friend or your parent or whatever it is that in your life, whoever people you have in your life come up in your thoughts. You consider them maybe when you're taking a break or whatever, but you should be able to function without the nagging, insistent, persistent anxiety of worrying, wondering, and thinking about that other person. That's a sign that there's either codependency going on or trauma bonding going on or both, okay? Another sign of being trauma bonded is when you are apart, you have a desire to return to a toxic person. You have, you have a strong pull toward that person, even though you know what they did. Low self-esteem can come into play here and feeling lost to self, feeling like you are no longer who you are. I had someone just yesterday saying, it just feels like a fog. I don't know. I don't feel like me. It doesn't feel right. I feel all wrong. And that was a great description of a horrible situation of feeling trauma bonded. So remember that love is not this. Love is something completely different, okay? You may feel like you love this person and in truth you may in some ways love this person, but remember that this love that you're feeling is also mixed and blended and twisted and all smushed together with trauma bonding. If you have been with someone who is highly manipulative and how, who does these things that create these trauma bonds, right? So understand that, that what you will feel when you heal from this will be completely different. So even though it's like, yes, but I love them. Yes, but I love them. Understand that that if you want to get away and you want your life free of toxic people, you have to see sometimes that what you may be experiencing of, of love in this moment may not actually be 100% love. Okay, it's also mixed with this addictive process. So what do you do when you're trauma bonded? What do you do? Okay, here's the thing that we have to offer. We have one of the more comprehensive programs out there for helping people get through this stuff. And one of the pieces of that is our group coaching. If you need it, please join it. There are meetings three times a week and I'm not here to like sell you anything. What I'm here to do is offer you this information so that you know there's a resource out there with someone who's experienced it, right? And who is, you know, trained and experienced in helping people through this. Trauma bonds can be hard to break alone. What the group offers is not only, hey, you get to talk to me, whatever, you also get other people going through the same thing at the same time who are being vulnerable and sharing their experience in a setting that is safe and small and um, protected from anyone else's ears. Okay, so if you need it, there it is. That information for that is in the description of every video. So that is one way to help break these trauma bonds. Other ways is find a therapist or do private coaching one-on-one -on -one with someone. Okay, that's obvious. Don't need to say more. Other way to break these trauma bonds. Okay, you guys live in the moment, the moment right now. Be present to yourself. Do things. Get busy in your life. Focus on you, your life, stay on your own track. Stop looking back and stop looking at the other person's, the toxic person's anything, okay? Going no contact 
is really important if for a lot of people for most people if you can't and you're low contact pretend you're no contact and only have contact about the things that are necessary and keep those brief and businesslike take days one step at a time take moment to moment make choices that are right now just make a choice right now maybe a different choice in 10 seconds that's okay just one foot in front of the other toward a goal of being free from these trauma bonds it is possible to break them people are doing it all the time people forget self-care they forget that they need to even take care of themselves they don't even notice that they're not so you can go to your basics basic self-care eating sleeping bathing getting dressed all of these things our home taking care of our home these basic things that we're doing anyway driving to work whatever do them with a little more care for yourself, whatever it is. If you're going to eat a meal, take three bites where you enjoy the taste of the meal. And if you're not into it, just say thanks for making the meal to yourself in your head, right? Like be appreciative of yourself. Take a shower. If you in your shower, put the temperature just right. Get the soaps you like, get the smells you like, take care of yourself. And you may need to use that space to cry or you may need to decide that that's like off limits crying space and you use it to relax and you just take some deep breaths and you feel the hot water. Okay, so use every moment in your life, you can even do it brushing your teeth just everything you do in your life add one little thing that is care for yourself. And it will help build a self care mindset that helps you through your day and gets you out of falling back into worrying about the other person. So a lot of people want to skip this step, but we got to feel all of it and grieve it and let it out. And sometimes talking about it helps, sometimes journaling helps, whatever it is that works for you. Sometimes just taking a weekend in bed and just crying, whatever it is you need to do, do it as long as it's safe, sane and healthy for you, okay? And know that these feelings will pass. You're not gonna get stuck there. If you hold them back and try and avoid them and be like, I'm just taking this route and I'm just gonna be positive and I'm just gonna, they'll catch up with you. So let yourself feel it and process it. It's a lot to take in and it's a lot to, it's a lot to go through. And one thing I'm gonna add here is try to be careful with too many timelines on yourself, especially in the beginning of healing from trauma bonds. It takes everyone the time it takes that individual person. Most people don't get over this in a weekend, all right? Most people it's months to get through this and that's not to be scary or it's not like it's terrible and, and at its worst for months. It, it, it'll go like a roller coaster or like ebb and flow. So just take the time you need because there's so many things involved here that healing from toxic abuse and narcissism is a whole process, okay? So just be patient and, and, and appreciate the things that are better for you. In so there's a whole list of other ways to heal from trauma bonds and narcissism and all of that. And we can talk about that in another time, but there's just start for getting through these first days, or if you're trapped in the cycle of the discard and Hoover, you know, this is, these are some tips for getting you from feelings of trauma bonding to starting to take control of your own life and not having that other person control you from a distance because you're trauma bonded. Okay, I am Lisa Colucci and I'm here to help you if you need it. So check out the info in the description of every video. Let me know how you're doing if you've gone through this, if you're experiencing trauma bonding, what is up for you and what do you need help with? So let me know in the comment section. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Take care.